Hello everyone, hello beautiful people. So for today's video, I'm going to take you inside our BSF love cage. A simple yet powerful setup that has completely changed the way we think about farming and sustainability. I want this video to be as informative as possible. So you're whether a farmer, a gardener, or a simple person who is curious about what are Black's soldier flies? You're in the right place. All right, so today's video, I'm going to take you in and I will show you first the setup of our love gauge. So we will open this zipper right here so we can get in. All right, I'm just going to open a small amount so the BSF will not get out, you know. But here, this is the setup of our love gauge. Right there okay so first level here is this bucket which where we put our larvae larvae that soon will turn into flies all right and then this one here is i think that is a quarter inch of a rebar which koya alex made so we can put this bucket on top all right after this bucket right here is this thing the rag with water where the black soldier flies drinks and one advice you just have to make this towel wet enough so that your black soldier flies can drink water please do not drown them all right next in this side is this bucket with an attractant all right again Flies or the black soldier flies, they don't eat this food anymore. It's called attractant for them to be attracted and lay their eggs in these eggies. This is called eggies right here. Right? That's where they lay their eggs. So what we do is we cut the wood into this size, I guess an inch size, and then wrap them in a rubber band. So for us to easily collect the eggs after. All right, so eggies, attractant below, water, this bucket right here to separate, these larvae, and they have space to fly. So this is what it looks like outside our love cage. And before I forget, as you can see, there's light in there. But I will explain to you later on what's the purpose of these lights right here. So as part of the video today, I am going to discuss to you what are the importance of growing a population of BSF in your backyard farm or even in your farming. So first, what is BSF? Let's define it. BSF stands for Black Soldier Fly. They are an insect known for its amazing ability to convert organic waste into valuable resources. Their larvae are widely used in farming composting, and animal feed due to their high protein content and environmental benefits. Why are BSF important? First, organic waste recycling. BSF larvae consume food scraps, manure, and agricultural waste, reducing landfill waste. The second one is high protein animal feed. The larvae are rich in protein and are used to feed chickens, fish, and other livestock. Next is soil enrichment. The frass, which is the larvae waste, is an excellent organic fertilizer for crops. Next is sustainable and eco-friendly. Unlike traditional livestock feed, BSF farming requires fewer resources and reduces carbon emissions. A BSF love cage, specially designed enclosure where BSF are bred and managed efficiently. Farmers and homesteaders use it to produce larvae for waste management and animal feed. So now, what is um, BSF nutrient content? Black soldier fly larvae are highly nutritious, making them an excellent protein source for animal feed. Their nutrient composition varies depending on diet and growth conditions, but on average, BSF larvae contain protein content which is 40 to 50 percent crude protein and comparable to fish meal making it ideal for livestock poultry and aquaculture feed 
The next one would be the fat or lipid content. 25 to 35 percent are crude fat, rich in lauric acid, which has antimicrobial properties beneficial for animal health. Next one is essential amino acids. And then next is minerals, which has 5 to 8 percent of calcium, which is great for poultry, especially for laying hens. Next is phosphorus, which is 1 to 2 percent, and then magnesium, zinc, iron, and potassium in trace amounts. Next one is fiber and ash content, which has 5 to 15 percent fiber, depends on the diet of the larvae. Ash content varies, but is usually 10 to 15 percent, contributing to mineral content. And also, energy value, gross energy, which is 5,000 to 6,000 kcal per kilogram, which is highly digestible for animals. Because of their high protein and fat content, BSF larvae are widely used in poultry, fish, pig, and pet food industries as a sustainable alternative to fish meal and soybean meal. So now, I am going to tell you about the life cycle of the BSF. So the black soldier fly life cycle consists of five stages and typically lasts for 30 to 45 days depending on temperature, humidity, and food availability. So first stage is the egg stage which is four to five days. So female BSF lays 500 to 900 eggs in near decaying organic matter. Eggs hatch within four to five days into tiny larvae. Second stage is a larvae stage, which takes 14 to 21 days. The larvae are voracious eaters, consuming food scraps, manure, or organic waste. They also grow rapidly, increasing in size up to 2.5 centimeters. At peak growth, they are rich in protein and fat, making them viable for animal feed. Next stage is pre-pupa stage, which takes 5 to 7 days. Larvae stop eating, turn dark brown or black, and migrate away from food sources to find a dry place for pupation. Their exoskeleton hardens for protection during transformation. The next stage would be pupa stage, which is or which takes 7 to 10 days. Inside the pupae shell, they undergo metamorphosis into adult flies. No feeding occurs in this stage. Next one is the adult fly stage, which takes 5 to 8 days. Adult BSF do not eat. They rely on stored energy from the larvae stage. Their only purpose is to mate and lay eggs, ensuring the next generation. After mating, the female lays eggs and the cycle repeats. So if you are going to ask me what is the best choice to feed your animals, well, for most animals, you can feed the larvae from 10 to 21 days old for high protein and fat. And for the egg-laying poultry, you can feed the pre-pupae, which is 21 to 30 days old, for extra calcium. So now the next question would be, what is in stars? Instars refer to the developmental stages that insect larvae go through between each molt before reaching the next stage of their life cycle. In the case of black soldier fly larvae, they go through six instars before transitioning into the pre-pupa stage. Now, let's talk about the sun. What is the importance of the sun for the BSF lovemaking? So the sun plays a crucial role on black soldier flies mating because BSF adults are diurnal breeders, meaning they rely on sunlight to reproduce successfully. Why is the sun important for BSF mating? Because the sun triggers mating behavior. So BSF require natural sunlight or strong artificial UV light, which we have, to initiate courtship and mating. Without it, they won't reproduce effectively. Next one is to boost mating success. Studies show that direct sunlight, or at least 
2,000 to 10,000 lux of light intensity increases the number of successful mating pairs. The sun also warms their bodies for activity, which is the BSF adults are more active in warm temperatures like 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, which improves flight, courtship, and overall reproductive success. Next one is to enhance visual communication. BSF use light cues for orientation during flight and mating. Poor lighting leads to low egg production. Now, how to maximize sunlight for BSF breeding? The first one is the breeding cage placement. Position cages in areas with direct sunlight for at least 4 to 6 hours daily. Or you can also use artificial UV lights if raising BSF indoors or in a cloudy areas. You can install UVA or full spectrum LED lights which has 365 to 400nm wavelength to mimic sunlight. And also maintain warm temperatures. Keep the environment at 25 to 35 degrees Celsius to encourage activity and successful mating. So without proper sunlight or artificial lighting, BSF adults will struggle to mate, leading to low egg production and poor colony sustainability. What happens to the male and female after they make love? So after mating, both female and male black soldier flies have short lifespan. Since they do not eat in their adult stage and rely on stored energy from their lar larvae phase, so now here's what happens. The female lays eggs within 2 to 3 days. So after mating, the female searches for a dry, sheltered place near the composing organic matter to lay her eggs. She lays 500 to 900 eggs in small clusters. The male dies sooner after mating. Males have no further role after mating and die within a day or two. Their main purpose is to find a mate and reproduce. The life cycle continues after 4 to 5 days. The eggs hatch into tiny larvae starting the next generation. And then the cycle repeats. So since adult BSF do not eat, their entire focus is on reproduction. This natural process ensures that the colony sustains itself with minimal maintenance, making BSF farming efficient and self-sustaining. So that's it guys. I hope you understand if you learned something about how BSF is a game changer for farming and waste management. If you find this video interesting, please let us know in the comments. And thank you very much for being with us and I'll see you in our next one.